Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? Um, thanks for coming to class today. If you are a new viewer, I encourage us by subscribing to the channel. And if you are a returning viewer, thanks for always um, checking up on us. On today's video, we are going to show you how to plot contours on QGIS. You know, um, QGIS, as we have actually told you, is actually a very, very user-friendly GIS software that um, enables you to carry out so many tasks um, on GIS. Now, on today's video, we are going to show you how you can use this QGIS towards to plot contours. And then you know the importance of contour in planning, especially in environmental planning. When you have your contour lines and then you know those values, you know what to put there, what not to put there, you know how to control your flow of water and then reservoir and stuff like that. So that's what we are going to show to you. Now, before we do that, um, you need your QGIS, you also need um, a prerequisite knowledge if you don't have the data for getting a um, contour there is a link on the description section of this particular video where you can see how we generated the data for contour because we've actually made a video on how to plot contours on sofa and we got our data from google it so we are going to leave that link on the description section where you can assess that so i haven't said that you can go to that part of the video and then see the build up because that's the data we are going to use so without spending much time let's bring in that data so you come to layer you go towards add layer then you go towards um, add delimited text layer right good then under the file name you select what the, the, the data is browse good so we are working on this folder contour from QGIS so this is the data we open it right good so we have opened it our x field is our what is our longitude our y field is our what is our latitude and then the z field is our what is our all field then the geometry coordinate reference system we are using is actually wgs 64 graphic then the file format is csv if you had actually imported it in different formats you are going to indicate if it's comma or maybe tab or semicolon separated but it's actually comma separated so you can see them in their different columns and then it's actually point coordinate not them um, no geometry so that's for that then we do what um okay the file type the record and field geometry sorry longitude we have an um, altitude and then we also have what the latitude, right? Good. So after we um, selected different options, this um, add, the add button was unchecked. So we had to come back to it again. So your X is your longitude and the rest of that. So you do what you add and then you close. So you would actually see it added, right? So zoom to layer. And then um, let's take this off a bit and see. So we can now see when you go to that video, you will see that the data was actually acquired from this particular area. It's actually in northern part of Nigeria, right? Good. Now having established that the next thing we should consider or the next thing we are going to look at is the contour plugin. The contour plugin. Now let's say you have not actually installed the plugin on your um, on your QGI. So you just come on that plugin. You go to manage and install plugin. Good. So under the um, search panel, you just um, type contour. Contour, right? Good. Okay. So contour plugin. You select it. Create contour from point layer. Generate a contour. So if you have not installed it, you can just what maybe there will be an option for you to install. So since it's already installed. There's no need for us to install it again, so you might find or you can find it under the plugin. So we close now. This is the icon, 
the icon for contour so since you have installed it maybe if you don't have it for now so when you have actually installed it you can just come to what you click on it then the next thing is what you have this um, contour dialog window maybe the dialog box or the window yeah contour window so the first thing is what the input is actually data then the data value lets you use um, the the altitude right good let's use the altitude because that's what we are going to use to interpolate the the contour then the number yeah let's use let's say 25 maybe the number of heights yeah number of heights you want to be interpolated because it's actually based on interpolation right then we are using the n equal intervals the n equal intervals then um, what's next thing we should check out for um okay then the output so i think basically these are the parameter we need to check out for so if you look closely here you have your minimum and the maximum set for the elevation data you have actually selected right then we see what um, add and close okay Control layer created, then there will be another from good triangle, and then we can decide to do what we can decide to close good done. So we can close. So temporarily, you can even see what this icon means is actually a scratch layer, it's a temporary layer. So you immediately you close your, your work, you might lose it. But we are going to show you how to go over it again now when you are done with this you can put up those other layers to see the the contour that has actually been what that actually been generated now this contour that has been generated you know most times okay we are still going to make reference to that other video because it's the same data which means the depiction or let's say yeah the configuration of the terrain must or let's say should be fairly alike and when you look closely at this contours you can see that their lines are sharp the lines are sharp the the lines are sharp yes those um, those lines that are showing points of equal elevation are sharp so we need to smoothen them a bit so by smoothing them we are going to create another layer which will replace this one so you either come to this search and then you type um, you type or you search for smooth or you go directly under your what under your vector geometry what do i mean by that you know there is this um, vector geometry yeah where you see um, vector good you come under vector geometry then you look for smooth right where is it good you look for smooth which is this so you just click on it now when it's up when it's up rather it's now asking us what is data we want to smooth in this is the description these are algorithms smooth the geometries in a line or polygon layer it creates a new layer with the same features as once in the input layer but with geometries containing higher number of vertices and corners in the geometries smoothed out so just like an explanation of what the what this particular um, function does then the next thing is what um, this layer then number of iteration number of times it should run let's just say three or four um, then offset good to so, the next thing is now how do we add we want to save it where do we want to save it so create them um, you just come to this particular icon then we say save to file save to file so we just click on save to file good so we are actually working on a particular folder contour from qgis we should see earlier so let's call this um let's call this um, contour contour right and then we are purposely saving it as a, a shape file so when you click on it you will see other file and other file types we are saving it as a shape file maybe when you want to start your might um, indicate um as a um, jpk that jpk that's a um, geo package right good so we actually am um, saving it as a shape file so we'll see what save good so upon setting these few parameters that I have, you can just click on run. You click on run, then you will get you will get a result. So since it's done, you close. Now when you close, you see now that this new layer that was created is not actually a temporary layer, unlike this other one. 
then you will now see the smoothing that we are referring to so let's put this up you now see that the lines are actually smoothing a bit that looks like this makes it looks like um, some like normal contours we used to see or maybe normal contours we used to plot so this actually makes it um, a bit smoother or maybe it makes it smooth right so that's the first thing or let's see that it now the next thing is that you know most times when you see your contours they are actually having values displayed on them right so we are going to just run through that so since this is the layer we are working on just double click on it to get to the property good now the layer properties are out right the layer property window is up we can now do the little modification we want to do so we want to include the label the label that's the height you know when you have your contour you see those contour values displayed on your lines right so we need single label then uh, what's the next thing we need to do we need to see the placement we need to see the placement like how those contours be placed but before then let's just see what we can do with the with the with the text i prefer most times to use a um, times new roman or something guys yeah, that we have times new roman right Good. then i prefer using bold and i think those ones i know then we now come on that placement so we want it um, on the line not above the line we want it on the line so on the line means the values should be displayed on the line and then we say what we say apply and then let's see good we can now see the values being displayed on the line then let's still change the color of that um, particular text so instead of it being black i prefer having it as a red so that it's a form of good then we now come to the line okay, it's actually brown the brown is fair the brown is fair so these are the little modifications you are going to do when you've actually um, interpolated or when you've actually got in your contour so now let's put off this um scratch layer and then we can see our um, main layer and then the contours that have been displayed on it so you can see how the, the the values are from here you see each of the contours and each of the lines and their contour lines and their values so with this you can be able to maybe carry out any form of um, you can make any decision let's use that you can make any decision based on the elevation that have been displayed on those lines so by the time you compare this contour with that which we um, use them so far to actually get you will see the clues and similarity with it so we are leaving that as an assignment to you it's actually on this um it's, it's on the channel so we will leave the link to that video on the description section where you can access that video so that you can see how we came about some of these values because these values were actually got it from that video so you see how we came about these values then you will see how we also generated that contour then you can now compare the two methods of generating contour to see which you would use and then you know maybe which you would want to add or whatever but they are both good and then so far it's actually a very good software so yeah thanks for coming to class we hope we have um, provided solution to this um, particular survey problem we are going to see you on our next video until then keep being good at what you're doing and have a nice time bye